In the wake of Earth's fall, beneath the scarred and alien-occupied surface, Kelly Perez and her band of survivors ventured deeper into the ancient tunnels they had discovered. These passageways, etched into the very bones of the Earth, were a labyrinth of unknown origin, their walls smooth and unnaturally straight, suggesting a level of technological sophistication that far surpassed human capabilities. The air within was cool and carried a faint, inexplicable hum, as if the tunnels themselves were alive with a dormant energy. Kelly, with her background in engineering and an innate curiosity that had driven her to the top of her field, was fascinated. The technology embedded in the walls of the tunnels, technology that seemed to manipulate light and matter in ways that defied the laws of physics as she knew them, offered a glimmer of hope and a myriad of questions. Who had built these tunnels and for what purpose? Could the secrets of their creators offer a way to fight back against the Kryn? As they explored, the group stumbled upon a chamber, vast and circular, its center dominated by an artifact unlike anything humanity had ever encountered. It was a monolith, its surface a tapestry of light and shadow, with symbols that pulsed gently, beckoning for interaction. Kelly approached, her hand hovering over the symbols, her mind racing with possibilities. Was this a weapon, a tool, or something else entirely? The moment her fingers brushed against the monolith, the chamber sprang to life. Holographic projections filled the air, displaying star systems, mathematical equations, and scenes of a civilization unknown. The images told a story of a race that had once stood against the Kryn, just as humanity now did. This race, whose name was lost to time, had fought valiantly, but had ultimately been forced into hiding, much like the humans of Earth. Among the projections, one stood out, a map leading deeper into the Earth, to a place where the answers to their many questions, and perhaps the key to the Kryn's downfall, waited. Kelly knew that this was their next step, that whatever lay at the end of that map was what they had been searching for, even if they didn't yet know what it was. But the discovery of the chamber and the monolith raised more questions than it answered. Why had this ancient race, so advanced and seemingly powerful, been unable to defeat the Kryn? What had led to their disappearance? And most importantly, could the fate that had befallen them be avoided by humanity? As they prepared to follow the map, tension and excitement ran high among the survivors. The path they were about to take was fraught with unknowns. The tunnels had already proven to be a maze of wonders and dangers, and there was no guarantee they would all make it to their destination. But the promise of a weapon, or perhaps an ally, hidden deep within the earth was too great to ignore. Kelly felt the weight of responsibility heavily upon her shoulders. She had become a leader, a beacon of hope for these people who had lost so much. Her decisions could lead them to salvation or doom. Yet, as she looked around at the faces of her fellow survivors, their eyes alight with a mixture of fear and determination, she knew they were ready to face whatever lay ahead. As they set out, following the map projected by the monolith, the air grew heavier, and the hum that had been a constant companion in the tunnels grew louder, more insistent. Something was waiting for them in the depths of the earth, something ancient and powerful. Kelly could only hope that it would be the answer they needed. If you're enjoying the story, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be alerted the moment that I release part three. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.